Hi, yeah, Martin here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. Um, yeah, I'm sat in my car outside this evening's demo um, in East Sussex at the Ashdown Woodturners Club. I'm a bit early. In fact, I'm <laughs> I'm two hours early um, for the demo. Um, I decided I would leave early just in case the traffic on the M25 was bad, um, but it wasn't. So I'm here two hours early, and um, I've pulled my finger out enough to um, get on with making a video for you. So I'm very sorry that I haven't actually managed to get a video out over the last few weeks. Um, I went, uh, I crashed a little bit, um, my mojo disappeared and I lost a lot of motivation, um, which came back, um, came back yesterday, which I'll tell you about um, in a little while. But I was hectic with making stuff for Hampshire Sheen and lots and lots of admin um, and just stuff you you've already seen, and I and I also didn't think you'd find it particularly interesting. So yeah, I was been on a bit of a bit of a creative lull, um, change of season, I think, something like that. Um, but coming up in a second is the video that I had started to make before I before I went to, down the other side of my creative peak. <laughs> as it were uh, so you'll see that in a minute so that's about three weeks old and then after that you'll see um, a little video I did of a piece that uh, that I made um, yesterday and the day before so let's go back in time about three weeks and you can see the video that I started earlier Hiya, Martin here. I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me again for um, for this video. Um, after the amazingly fun day that I had yesterday with George Fowraker and all of the uh, the turning and the colouring that we did, um, you heard that um, I was going to start turning this whopping great piece of sycamore uh, today. Well, I was, but now I'm not entirely certain that I am. Uh, the design that I want to put over over it or on it somewhere this um, sort of sycamore maple leaf thing um, I thought I was going to um, pyrography it and then do something arty and creative with um, the colours but now I'm not entirely sure that's exactly what I want to do so I'm going to take a little bit of time to think about it um, and how I want to present particularly um, the leaves. I know how I want to colour them, but the actual presentation and the method of getting the leaves into the wood I'm now not 100% sure of. So I'm going to use um, my admin time and my sort of my downtime tonight, as it were, to uh, mull over a couple of ideas um, just yet. But it goes to show that you can't necessarily all the time just go gallivanting into um, a piece and seeing what happens particularly with a blank like this that cost me over 50 quid um, which is about 65 70 dollars ish something like that I think um, it's a very large piece of wood and the presentation of the decoration has got to be right right before I go home um I thought I'd try out the, the guilting, well, not the guilting idea, but the leafing idea with um, a rather bad demonstration piece. And I've just etched into there, I get it round, just etched into there with, um, with the Dremel, just some lines, and uh, I've put the, uh, the sizing glue, the the metal leaf is sizing glue in there just to see if um, or just to see how it looks I mean it's not very pretty and I, I don't need it to be particularly pretty um, so I've got to leave that now for 15 minutes before I can apply the leaf and I just want to see how it looks so now it's um, 15 minutes or so whoops 15 minutes or so later um, I've got some of this let me hold it down there, I don't know if you can see that at all. No, <laughs> anyway, it's called Tamiz or Tamize variegated red gold, and um, I think I'm going to need some tweezers to do this. 
because I just want to I don't want uh, I don't particularly want the whole sort of variegated stuff there but as this is just a trialy test thing I'm just going to uh, get some of it on there and use a gilder's brush and just push it down into the into the thingies onto the onto the ah, what am I talking about um, into the the gilding size and I can feel that the brush isn't actually doing a very good job so I'm going to use my finger to push it in but I wonder if you can see that yeah I think you can see it I think that idea has promise um, definitely I'm quite quite pleased I, th I think it's a bit out of focus for you but that um, that definitely has promise okay so here is the first go I think you can see that okay and then here is the second go where um, I've actually traced around a little bit of the design um, and gone round it with a Dremel with a slightly finer point and uh, as you can see that's much much nicer than um, than the slightly thicker bit and I, I, I really do think this has um, quite a lot of um, promise but if you look up along there I've got I'm gonna have to be really precise with um, the application of the uh, of the size or the glue so I think that's the way we're going to go. In fact, I'm sure it is. <laughs> so there we go. That's what happened um, about three weeks ago, the day after George Fowrake came. I've still got that piece mounted on the, um, on the faceplate. And I'm now beginning to think I may not actually do that design on that particular piece of wood at all. Um, such is the um, the uh, creative, uh, what's the word? <sighs> Can't think of the word. But anyway, changing my mind. Ch ch changing my mind about it because I've got some other ideas that have come into my head after turning the piece I did yesterday and the day before. But whilst I'm sat in the car, let's have a quick look at the demo kit, which is... There, it's just a single box, um, there's a Sorby texturing tool, two bowl gouges, a half inch and a three eighths bowl gouge. Um, a 10 mil skew, point tool that's just stabbed me in the arm, hot air gun, drill, all my colours, waxes, a couple of sample pieces, um, a demo piece, a blank, safety goggles, a couple of oils, um, sanding sealer, um, rubber gloves, that kind of thing. And then in the cardboard boxes there are some Hampshire Sheen products which uh, which the club are kind, kind, kindly letting me um, um, make available to uh, the club members. Now I said um, at the beginning that I turned a piece and after a creative crash a few weeks ago um, it came back with uh, gusto uh, the day before yesterday when I turned this red Mally Burr piece and I'm really chuffed with, with um, how it's come out. And if you follow me on Facebook, you would have already seen it and, and the video that's coming up too. So I'm feeling much more energised. I think the change of seasons knocked me a little bit, but now I'm coming back up again. And I'm really looking forward to getting some more turning done. But we've got Harrogate show coming up um, in a month. It's just just shy of a month before the Harrogate show. Oh, police car. Um, yeah, the Harrogate show is coming up in just under a month, and myself and Glyn Senior at Yorkshire Grit are um, having a having a joint stand there, which we're both really looking forward to. It's insanely expensive um, getting uh, getting stuff sorted for that. the uh, The stand itself is really expensive, and then there's the investment in additional stock and stuff like that, and it's really quite it's really quite stressful having to um 
find the extra money for all of the additional stock and stuff like that. But it's going to be it's going to be a good show. They reckon somewhere around nine thousand people for that. And in other news, there is um, some good news from America. Jeff Hornung at the Walnut Log Studio, who make Hampshire Sheen for me over in the US, has just taken delivery of 36 sample packs of the Intrinsic Colour Collection. So if you're in the US and you want to have um, a play with the Intrinsic Colour Collection, you can now order directly from the US, from Jeff. Um, I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description. But for now, thank you very much indeed for watching. Just coming up in a second will be the uh, video for the Mali Burr piece um, I turned uh, yesterday and the day before, which I am calling Hello Mojo. <laughs> um, so thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you again soon for another episode. Um, that's it for now. See you soon. Bye-bye.